Hello. And welcome to the 365 day gaming challenge. This is the challenge where I play and play games with my kind of shame. Every day for the year. And today is 256. No, 246. I can never get these days right. Why do I try? Day 246, and we are getting our paleontology on and looking at Dinosaur Fossil Hunter Simulator. So, something different. I don't think I have ever played a paleontologist simulator. So we will see how this one goes. We are going to have a quick look at the options, of course. Just to see what's going on. This update brings a lot of improvements compared to the previous version. Well, that's good to know. We had to reset settings to default. Sorry for the trouble. We hope it won't be necessary in the future. Well, given this is the first time I've played it, I don't think that's going to make any difference. Um, general. Come on then, let us change it. Why can't I change it in there? Apparently this mouse doesn't want to work now, for some reason. Oh, I don't know what's going on now. I might have to relaunch this because it's decided. It's using the right stick. What? Well, that's the first for a uh, game. It's it's using the right stick for doing menu navigation, not left stick that every of the single game uses. Invert car, Y axis. Yes, we are going to invert the Y axis because that is the correct way to use a pad. I thought I was going to have to reset the game. Then I mean, the mouse doesn't work for some reason. But who knows why that is. We'll just have to deal... Oh, maybe we... Perhaps that's what it is. If I do right stick, is that going to let me use the mouse now? It is! Ah, there you go. That's a mouse toggle. Another very bizarre choice. Video. Resolution. We are playing... 4K. Medium shadows. That is the resolution we should be on. Hi. 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 That will do there. Audio. Yes, we do not need music at full volume. Blasting our res off. Controls. Yep, we've got some controls. That's good. Yeah, bloody hell. I'm not going to rebind all that stuff. I just. Can it be asked? Right. Um, we have a sandbox museum, a workshop, and a new game option. So if I do that again, okay, that has put us back into mouse mode, and I'm, I'm still trying to use the left stick because every other game uses left stick to navigate menus. That is most strange. He's got a Dremel, or a rotary tool. All right, let's start a new game and see where that gets us. So 
Start. Yes, please. Pyramid, Pyramid Games, Games presents, presents Dinosaur, Dinosaur Fossil, Fossil Hunter. Hunter. Well, at least we've got the left stick. And the look is in the right orientation for my likings. It's that. A T-Rex. They have a T-Rex. Say it again. We have a T-Rex. My dear Dr. Grant. We're not Dr. Grant. I've decided we're not going to be Dr. Grant. Apparently we have birds inside our um, little museum as well. Oh, we can go upstairs. Let's go and have a look what's up the stairs. Suddenly we do not echo. Can we jump? No. Oh, that brings up the menu. The B button brings up the main menu. Again with some weird design choices. So that is some weird updating, isn't it? it goes sideways like that. It's very janky. I don't know why that is so weird. It's not me. I'm doing full input on the right there, and then it's just like slow, 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 slow. Platinum patron of science. Gold patron of science. Uh -huh. Museum workshop. Oh, can't we can't go in there. We are slowly running out of space in the museum. Who'd have thought? It has all started so innocently. When I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. Joining the dance is not drawing dinosaurs. Oh, come on, you don't have to. What is going on there? I don't want to do drawings. What is this? Right trigger, pick up and use. Oh, come on. It's the controls in this game are just fucking terrible. There's no consistency in it. Really, we've got to try and draw something, have we? Jesus Christ. And we've got to go and draw a dinosaur. This is not hunting dinosaurs. This is not what paleontologists do. They don't draw dot to dots all the time.
I don't want to do any more of this. Every single freaking die away. This is not fun, especially when you can't see the freaking dots. Controlling it with a stick is not... The easiest thing in the world. this bullshit then it was one of the most exciting days in my life when I was eight I found my first fossil let's just walk into the sea and drown ourselves the game's not even gonna let us end this nightmare Blocking our way. Oh, can we jump it? Yes. No, no, I don't make us do that. Don't make us do that. It's making us do that. This one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. This is easier than the drawing bit. You don't have to, I thought you were going to have to orient it, but you don't, you just have to wait until it goes green and then you can just click. Mm. 
No, look at that. We've got a wooden model. Fantastic. Oh, we've got to do three of them, have we? Jesus Christ. This one's tougher. There's no manual, but I have the sketch at least. Who thought this was a good idea? I actually had a Stegosaurus model dinosaur that I had to put together when I was a kid. You had to glue all the individual whatever spikes are called. I have no the idea. For the real fun. No manuals, no sketches, just sheer knowledge and skill. Spiky backs. It's a T-Rex, or is it? I have no idea. Because I can't see these. Things going green, you see. Great. Maybe I could use more practice and build one of them again. No. Let's see. What difficulty level should I go with this time? Skip. I even won a local talent show once. He loved my triceratops. A couple of years later. The money I had received as a reward in that competition turned out to be of an invaluable help. Did it? Did it really though? Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a paleontological group in a newspaper. Turned out they needed volunteers who were willing to work in the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. Took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably it's not a job if you're a volunteer. Gameplay basics. Hang on, how old did he say he was? Now he wants us to go driving, does he? Enter the vehicle. Way we gotta go. Excavation area.
10 miles an hour is the safest maximum speed. That is a thing in the way. Which we can't get over. I'm guessing we're going to have to get out then, are we? Day in the life of paleontologists cutting logs up. Lock the differential. tell what the we are in four wheel drive mode. Oh rocks. Good. Use a hammer to remove the stone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why wasn't this already removed before my arrival? I think with this hammer it's going to take a while. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that little hammer which looks more like a mallet to me than a hammer. Would be enough to break through that massive rock. Excavation area. Why can't we just go somewhere else? Because... Makes me not want to be a paleontologist. You're close to the excavation site. Look at that water. You could almost swim in it, it looks so inviting. Where have we got to go? Warning, bring your car with equipment to this place and start excavation. What? Which place? What place are you talking about? Have we actually got to drive into the blue circle? Press A to skip securing the area. Wow, we've obviously got some kind of drone there.
flying around with our magic highlighting securing area because this is a critical part of the game drawing boundaries slowly because we wouldn't want anybody to walk through double yellow lines that would be a terrible thing excavation basics use a shovel use a pickaxe or identified stones yeah we'll skip all that bollocks yes look at that that is going to stop us from walking through Wow, look at that, look at how strong that tape is. Super strong tape. I mean, who would need nails if you had stuff like that? And the beeping's fantastic. Crate pallets. Why is it beeping? What's the beeping about? You're in the right place. Use the GPR. GPR. Scan. with this control scheme but it's not very fluid it is not very fluid at all can we remove that flag though? I don't think so alright so we've done that um, shovel we can play football with rocks. It's, we are the magneto of paleontologists. Was it there? Apparently we can't dig that anymore. Just digging around the outside of it. wants us to be very accurate with where we place the little cursor thing. Can we lift these rocks up? Apparently not.
First, inspect the stone. Oh, we've got a drain. we inspect oh, that is awful You have to hold it down and use it. It is not good. I think this is one of the most terrible control schemes I think I've ever used. <sighs> Identifying stones. Visually inspect at this stage. Yeah, but you haven't told us how to visually inspect it. Pick up right trigger. Inspect. I'm pushing the right trigger and it's not doing anything. What have you? Why have you? Why? Um, decided it was going to bring that menu up so I didn't push the menu button can we pick that up now? Oh, we can pick it up now, apparently. <sighs> now what? Got rid of that stone. Didn't need that anyway. Fucking beating as well. Can't believe anybody made this game and thought, yes, this is really well done. Let's release this. Uh, 
Alright, if we... I think we've released everything now. <sighs> right, let's get this up here. Can we... No, let's throw it up there. There you go. So. Can we get up here now? Apparently we still can't get up there. We are forever doomed. Forever doomed. Oh, in our pit. I thought we were going to get stuck in the pit then. Alright, pick it up. Oh, the day will have good luck. First, remove the muck from this stone. Smashy, smashy. Perform a visual inspection. It's a rock. It's definitely a rock. We have just inspected the stone. There's no, there's no indication that I'm inspecting it at all. Am I inspecting it? I mean, I'm looked all around it now. There is no bone in this room. Oh, apparently you've got to use that thing. Who knew? Where did we throw those other ones? Somewhere. Is that one of them? Yeah. There is no bones in this rock. Can't get out of there again. All 
Right, let's dig this other bit instead then. This game is shortly going to be removed from my machine, but it doesn't improve substantially. There is no bone in the rock. Goodbye, rock. Say hello to the moon. In your face. safe for this friend. He's uh, certainly works out, doesn't he? Oh, should we throw it at the... Uh... At least that's solid. Excavator, little grabby thing, whatever you call those, drum, I don't know. It's got a force field across it. I like force fields, they're fantastic. Let's see if we can hit our truck. Not quite. Not, I don't think we've got quite enough um, strength to put it up there. 45 degrees, that's what um, track and field taught me. 45 degrees is the optimal angle to throw things at. Right, now we've got rid of all of that. Let's dig some more. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Maybe we won't. Maybe by the time we finish this game, we will have died from malnutrition. Use a digger for this. That might have cracked a few bones, it'd be bloody faster. Hooray, we've got a bronze shovel achievement. Fantastic.
Oh look, it's a smelly thing. Oh no, there was grass. There was grass growing underneath the mud all of the time and we didn't even know it. What about that? You don't want the sun to damage your grass, you just grow it underneath the mud. Can we pickaxe some bits out there? Oh, there we go. Oh, we did we free it up? Did we free it? There is no bone in this rock. There is no bone in that rock. First inspect the stone. There is no bone in this rock. There is there are fossils in this stone. You've got a message. Wow. How do we do the messages then? No idea. Tablet. No. Yeah. Notifications. Uh, do we get that? You've got a message. Check it out on your tablet. Yeah. All right. I'm having to push it down and down goes up the messages. Stone with unknown bone. Apparently not. There we go. There. That's, that's nicely an art shirk. <sighs> mm. 
Once you're done with extracting and securing your findings with plaster, put them into boxes and then use your car to transport them. Unknown species, unknown bone. Now what? Do we have to go somewhere? Why is it? <laughs> all right, all right. Send them away to museum. Travel. Matt. Okay, look, this this game is just utter utter garbage. It, it's just it's awful. It, it is awful and it makes me want to turn my computer off and throw it out the window. I think I'd rather hack my hands off than play this. Plus the music's utter garbage. The control scheme is utter garbage. The UI is utter garbage. It's... It's just not very good. And if this is the life of the paleontologist, well... I feel sorry for you. Because it ain't fun. Perhaps we can get in the car and drive into a brick wall and end it all. Let us end this, end this in the world. Oh no, it's decided it's going to go up the wall. Oh well, no, perhaps we'll go back to the camp over there. There's a blue circle there, but now our car is stuck. driving. And the camera doesn't follow your car either, you actually have to manually move the camera. Let's just drive over there. Can we get up there? Let's go to the mine up there. Don't leave your laptop like that, don't. it's just bad for the hinges. Don't tell me we have to go find two of these things. What is 
that say? All activities monitored by a video camera. Really? Really? Where is this alleged video camera? I don't see a video camera anywhere. Oh, I think that is a lie. Stuck now, we're stuck in this little pit bit here. Because even though we have the strength to throw rocks for miles, we don't work on our legs. We have no leg strength, only arm strength. Well, I think that's enough of this. I think we have seen all that we need to see to know this is a game that you should not ever buy. In fact, if you find a copy of it, you should burn it in the shop. Look at those shadows. Those shadows. Look at them. Because that's how trees and sun move. Just like that, look. Well, this has been the 365 Day Gaming Challenge. This has been day 246. And this has been Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. Which, under no circumstances, should you buy? If you're given a free code for this, destroy it. And I had such high hopes. I thought we would be finding T-Rex and Stagosaurus and whatever other dinosaurs that I don't know the names of. But it was not to be. It was just a mess of a game instead. With really bad shadow rendering. I'll be back again tomorrow with another game from the show. Which hopefully won't involve prehistoric preserved stones. Till then, I hope you have a pleasant day, and I will see you later. <laughs>